Sar Visbud, Dr. Robert, uh, Robert Ayisi, uh, who died of COVID-19 on 4th of November, has been laid to rest in Shikondi village in Kakamega County. Now, leaders present have called on the government to improve the health care for Kenyans and especially health workers who are the frontline soldiers in the fight against COVID-19. Mulinda Kerry reports. Ray amekua mtu mzuri. A handful of Mona gathered at the late Dr. Robert Aise to bid him farewell eulogizing as a dedicated servant who had the interests of his people at heart. Waambie daktari atembee vizuri ametutangulia na sisi tutamfuata tukijua ya kwamba njia ni ile ile njia ni moja ile ile ni bila wewe mwenyewe umetengeneza roho yako. Mimi naomba magavana wachukue kwa kwa budget yao wapatie kila mtu mask. Ama namna gani? Kwa maana watu ni wanyonge. Na watu wanataka kusaidiwa. Sasa ubula shindu ni babola venya huko mepo. Leaders present led by Kakamega Senator Kilofas Malala put the government on notice over the state of healthcare in the country amid COVID-19 pandemic. Inafama daktari na healthcare workers wataifahiri watunze vile majeshi wa hii country wanatunzo. Kwa sababu majeshi wanatulinda sisi kwa boda zetu mbona hao madaktari ambao wanalinda maisha yetu serikali haiwalindi kategori ya pili ambayo ni lazima tuilinde ni walimu kwa sababu walimu wamejitokeza kuenda kufundisha watoto wetu shuleni lakini hawana PPEs hawana special allowance NHIF inasema tukiwa na corona sisi hatukulipi sasa serikali imetuachilia NHIF wewe ulisema kwamba mtu akiwa mgonjwa inafaa ulipe. Kwani sasa hii corona sio ugonjwa? Malala has also questioned the intention of the government to announce schools reopening calendar even as the country is grappling with the second wave of COVID-19. The same government is saying January tarehe 4 shule zinafunguliwa. Shule ziko na watoto 1300. Paka sasa hivi amjajenga dormitories za kufanya social distancing. Paka sasa hivi amjajenga classrooms za kufanya social distancing. Now you are telling us watu wa crowd na tarehe 4 mumeshaweka suicide note ya watoto wetu waende kwa mashule wa crowd. Are you prepared for our children in schools? And the leaders couldn't leave the podium without adding their voice to the BBI politics. BBI sasa hivi ingoje kidogo tutatue maneno ya corona na masuala ambayo inasumbua wa Kenya kwanza wakasema kwamba we must not go for a contested referendum kwamba watu wakae pamoja waelewane tukishaelewana kama viongozi mheshimiwa msalia mheshimiwa raila mheshimiwa uhuru mheshimiwa ruto wakishaelewana pamoja na sisi viongozi wote we shall not need to spend 14 billion kuenda kwa referendum na hatuna masks na madawa za wagonjwa wetu i think that is my stand that we must not go through a contested referendum watu waelewane hiyo mambo baba atakuwa anaelewana tusitumie pesa mingi the number of covid and the number of people that are passing because of covid is very high so uh, this uh, particular uh, exercise does not need people to go into people's houses it needs people to converge somewhere they be at least uh, sen uh, sensitized on the issue and uh, be given some leeway on how they are going to take this BBI in front. So when we see it being postponed, there is a, uh, there is a, a all avenues that we shall continue with it. Mulindi Kerry, TV47, Kakamega.